people this is Rohit here and I am back with another JBJ food review video for this week and I hope you all enjoy watching this. Menu for JBJ at this week we got Thai cuisine. We got the two starters for this week Tom Yum soup and Thai salad. We got all the three main course options for this week chickpea curry, chicken and flank steak. For the dessert for this week jiggly jiggly panna cotta. So nice. Now it's my turn to eat I got some soup and salad both the starter options. Thai cuisine. I have a very controversial and very interesting opinions about Thai cuisine. Earlier it was a bit harsh but these days it's more like yeah I mean it's a different cuisine you are experiencing different cuisine but uh, for me it's more like it's lot Indian but then you remove the prime ingredients and then you add other contrasting ingredients and there's also few cuisines in India where we have the contrasting taste and this is just more of a personal thing because I am a person like um, if I want this to be spicy I want it only to be spicy if I want this to be sweet I want it sweet I don't like a funny mix of flavors or sweet and sour kind of flavor so that's one thing which I personally don't like some people like cuisines just because of that and Thai is one such popular cuisine so but I'm not a huge fan of having those kind of thing but Let's go with Tom Yum soup here to make sure that we cater to everyone. Tom Yum soup is veg but Tom Yum soup as a non-veg dish is like super famous. And now I'm gonna have the veg one. Whenever I look at the soup and whenever it has oil I'm like, yeah I'm already liking that soup. The soup is nice. Got carrots in it. What is the scallions? Tomatoes. Nice and boiled. No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One year are doing a great job. No, we are. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you. I mean, the vegetables nice and boiled. You have that. I mean, it's not so much on the spicy side, but yesterday when I mentioned, uh, let the soup be a bit more spicy. That's when the chef was like, okay, I'll make it spicy just because you said. I'm like, yeah, okay, thank you. Soup is really nice and for the weather, oh today also it started snowing and snow really makes me happy. So that's the way to go. I'm going to use the same spoon for the salad as well. It's all green color. You got the sauce. Have it. Oh what? You can see onions, carrots, lettuce. Mm. Oh, that's purple cabbage. Oh, I was like, oh wait, is the onion? Is it? Okay, it's purple cabbage. And then there's papaya, and I mean the seasoning and the kind of sauce, the marinade which is put on top of the salad is what makes it Thai. So every time I'm tasting a dish, I'm like, okay, there's a mix of two flavors, and I'm like, okay, that's what is not making me like the dish. So that's the kind of taste I'm getting. I like purple cabbage. And this is the first time we are having purple cabbage at JBJ this semester. Oh, oh, salad is fine. For someone who enjoys salad, yeah. They will enjoy it. I'm not a huge salad person. Oh, I'm enjoying the soup though. If I have to choose a starter option, I'll go with the soup. I'm going to get the main course now. The chef, you can recognize her from the Mexican cuisine video, and she's back with for the Thai cuisine one. She's giving me pad Thai. Got a lot of pad Thai. Got some pad Thai and string green beans. They have some veggies, just one or two. It's like because it's just roasted, and I don't usually prefer roasted. And then we got chickpea curry. Different iced tea, it's sugar free, so it's okay. Sugar. No problem. It's okay. So now what we do, and we got chickpea curry. Um, just a bit, just a bit. Call this out. Sure, it's fine. I got just one soup. Chicken. Yeah. You'll be so bad. Okay. Got chicken. Oh, it's going to be drenched in the chickpea. Ah. It's okay. It's fine. Let it be. Let it be. I don't mind at this point. Anyway, in the end, I'm going to mix and eat. So that's a different story. So. And then we got the steak. My everything special plate. Thank you, thank you. I like to eat, I like to talk about food. I mean, from recent times I started talking about food, yes. But then some cuisines, when you try to discover, it's just, I use the word funny because that's the word which comes to mind immediately. So yesterday or day before yesterday, whenever I was having food here at JBJ, I was also like, okay, that's a funny tasting thing because I call it funny because of the two contrasting tastes which come in between. And right now I'll start with chickpea curry, got some broccoli. See, chickpea curry, okay, I'm Indian, I have, I have had a lot of chana and chickpea and all that. 
but having broccoli in it, that's like something new. I'm like, that's the contrast which is here. And then. <laughs> that is funny. I'm not saying it is good or it is bad. If it's really nice, if I really enjoyed, yes, I, I'm going to say I really enjoyed that dish. Well, it's something about this funny feeling, like how that you know in uh, Gujarati cuisine you have that masala kind of thing. I I find that funny as well. I find that like really contrasting kind of thing. So it's not about like if there was a choice to have other food, yes, I would go for that. But this is not like my priority, or this is not something which I really enjoy or passionate about. Like, oh, yeah, I I don't get excited. I, if there's food, I just eat it. But personally, I don't prefer. Like lemongrass, all those kind of things. Maybe the pizzas alone are nice, but having it that kind of funny taste, I'm like, in the back of mouth, I'm like, ah, I personally don't like that. And the beans, let me have it, some with beans. For someone from a culture where we cut and eat beans and cut, it, cut and cook it with complete spices, this one, the beans that I have now, it's like raw, it has just boiled, that kind of roast flavor, that's it. So I personally don't prefer that kind of dish. You see the funny feeling in it. And now, let me try the pad thai. Have like, smells like noodles. And you have the nice, um, you know, that day, one day it was a bit dry, and today it's like, okay, each one is separate. It's not like sticky, sticky kind of thing. Have the, both the bell peppers, which are like call caps. Come on. What is it? This is exactly, you look at the dish, you try to see like, you think it would taste a certain way. When I look at this kind of noodle noodle plate, I'm like, oh wait. Noodle plate, you're like, okay, it will be saucy, it will be nice, it will be that oily kind of thing which I really like. I just had one bite and I'm like, why is it, the sweet tinge, why is that coming? I don't prefer that in my noodles or pad thai. The tinge, that sweetness is what is hitting me. It's something I don't prefer at all, so that's a different... This is a different cuisine. See, there's one thing which I realized that the Chinese also, they actually have that. See, that I was explaining to the chef also that when you have a spectrum of spicy to other uh, sweet or something like that, then you have like spectrum of contrasting taste. Chinese is something which I feel it falls in the spectrum. You have that spicy kick as well as that sweet things that is there. But the spectrum is like you get both the spectrum. Uh, both the extremes but there are other cuisines or other dishes like thai or some other dishes where the spectrum it's not at both the ends it's somewhere in between so it's very hard to differentiate and that's what i personally don't like and this one is like that so it's what this every time i'm looking at it taking a bite and i have that sweet that lip smack kind of taste i personally don't prefer that but it is what it is let me go ahead with a nice steak piece oh steak looks juicy and it's been marinating for days. Mm. Steak is actually good. It's, you can see that a bit chewy, uh, but then I let it rest for a bit. But a bit chewy, but it's really nice. Have the juicy, and it's been marinating for so many days. And I remember when talking to her also, she was saying. Oh, this thing, that thing, like so many things, it was marinated in for days. Rice tea. Steak is really nice and juicy. I would go for steak. I just got it for like food review. I personally wouldn't like go for steak kind of thing. Last one item Thai basil chicken. Let me go for a good piece. More the Kung Pao chicken, Kung Tao chicken, but so many Americanized Chinese dishes are there, right? It's like that. You have that sweet as well as that spicy thing, sweet and spicy kind of taste. But that's what they enjoy, that's what this cuisine is about, so I can't really say anything about it. Every single bite I'm taking the noodles, I'm, I'm like, oh, it's nice and saucy. I'm taking a bite, I'm like, wait a second, it's sweet, it's sweet, it's sweet. Oh, but the. Chicken there is like nice, interesting, uh, spicy kind of thing. And I personally eat a lot of Indo Chinese, so I personally like Indo Chinese. And we did not have something like the sweet and spicy extreme kind of taste, so that's one thing which is standing out. But overall, I think from the main dishes, steak is probably my favorite. Mm.
<laughs> well, it is just amazing. Chicken is like people who like that kind of American Chinese kind of chicken, they'll definitely enjoy that. But people who opt for steak usually they won't be disappointed. I know that much. Next, I'm going to enjoy this. I won't say enjoy, like I'll just eat this dish, but it's good. Like it's a different experience. You're just coming here to volunteer, eat, try different cuisine. So, in that, from that perspective, no, you wouldn't be dead. But this is not like my favorite, favorite kind of cuisine. It is what it is. I'll see all of the desert. I got my dessert as well, panna cotta. You know, the thing is, I'm a firm believer in like what taste stays with you at the end. If it's something which you really like, like a dessert, it's something okay, you want to end it on sweet note and all that. But uh, panna cotta, oh, I'll tell you the thing about it's like jiggly jiggly. It's like so jiggly jiggly. I got some whipped cream. It's like, and I'm eating it with a fork. What happened to me? I always use for the other jelly like. How that? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this kind of consistency, as well as the taste like coconut and lime. In comparison, I can actually enjoy lemon cake more. Have the contrast of taste. That's what. That's exactly what I mean by contrast of cuisine kind of thing. And not something I would enjoy. But the thing what I was saying earlier was firm believer of the point that. If it's something a desert that you really enjoy, then you don't mind like having it in the end. If it's something which you don't enjoy, this is something I knew Panagoda I won't enjoy. So what I did was I didn't complete my main course yet. So I just had it on the side. I just for food review I wanted to have it say that and then I'll go back to it. Um, having the main course. I want that spicy kind of thing to stay at the end. But overall Thai cuisine, whoever likes Thai food will definitely enjoy this for sure. I never had like any bad reviews about any Thai food here so far. It's just me, I am not a fan of Thai food, so but today the restaurant is busy, we have like so many volunteers and just three tables are free apart from mine, it's just three, so it's like completely packed, we have a lot of people so whoever likes Thai cuisine, they enjoy it but thank you for watching, I'll see you all in another video, next food review video till then, bye from me